Hello everyone, S Exclusive here. It's been a long while since I made a video of me showing new dolls to you guys. Well, since it's summer and the flea market's open, I got three new dollies! And at the flea market, I was debating if I wanted to buy Barbie because I recently got back into Barbie, if you can tell. But judging how pricey some of these brats were, I thought, hmm, I guess I'll just buy Bratz dolls today and maybe next time I could buy Barbie, but I'm not sure. But back to the dolls that I got. I got three new Bratz dolls and they all ranged up to be $12 in total. So the first doll, um, she was $5, but I asked the owner if I could get her for four. And the owner said, yeah, you could. So I was like, all right, that's pretty reasonable. And I did not expect to find her at the flea market. Because she is, I think she's kind of rare, I'm not sure, but she's really pricey and everyone seems to love her on Instagram and Flickr. I got Bratz Genie Magic Jade and I cannot believe it. She is beautiful. Like, let me show you up close. Look at that beautiful face. Like, it is beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, she is so sassy. And yes, she still has her original bendy, her necklace. And she's sporting a few pieces of her entire outfit. So she has her first top, her second outfit, which is the pants only, and these shoes. She also needs some cleaning here because she has a bit of scuff marks. And her hair, look at that hair, yummy. So I'll have a lot of fun watching her and taking pictures of her. Of course, near the end of this video, you'll see her entire new, you know, um, look when she's all clean and pampered and all that. And now I have two. I have Megan from this line and I cannot wait to add her to my Genie Magic collection. And moving on to the second doll. Now this doll, she was in the indoor part of the flea market. I knew that this booth had like a lot of toys. So, like there was a boy um, aisle and a girl aisle. So I went into the girl aisle and I was like looking around like, ooh, plushies, ooh, Monster High dolls, ooh, Barbies. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any Bratz dolls here. And then I was like looking at this um, shelving part that has that held some Barbie dolls at the very top where you could literally see them. I crouched down because I was like, hmm, there's something down there. I'm not too sure what it is. So I crouched down and I see a Moxie girl. I was like, oh, okay, Moxie girl until my eyes looked to the left and I saw this doll and she was only five bucks and she is live in concert Sasha. Yes, she is still in her original plastic um, gel set or something. So let me just try and get her out. I might struggle, so enjoy my struggle, okay? <laughs> oh, that was easy. Just okay. Woo! Here she is! Woo! Out of her death cell. So here she is. Oh my gosh, look at her! Oh my god, I'm so I'm spazzy, you guys! Oh my god! Um, let me- oh, she has this rubber band on her- holding her hair down. Let me take this. Ooh, look at her, you guys! Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. Okay, so here's her face. She has the Tokyo Ogogo screening, so that's awesome. Her hair is orange and white, and of course it's in layers, so yeah. Ooh, gosh, and of course, look! She has her original earrings! Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes! And of course she has her entire outfit. But yeah, look! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe I have her! Oh gosh, she is so beautiful! Screaming, she has her original boots here too. Oh my god, look at that. I was standing in the aisle like, trying hard not to scream. And I asked if I would like to buy her please. And I was like, oh my god, yes! And now I have her and oh my god, she's gorgeous. Oh my god, oh, okay. I keep saying oh my god, I'm sorry you guys. I'm just so excited that I found this rare, gorgeous beauty. And I'm not sure if the other Lyman Concept dolls are kind of rare, because, well, we all know that Never and Jay are the rarest. While Dana, Sasha, no, not Sasha, um, Dana, Chloe, and Yasmin, they're kind of not rare, I'm not sure, and Sasha's in between. So I'm so happy to have Sasha. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, oh, okay, sorry, you guys. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I'm dying here. So that is live in concert, Sasha. Okay, so this last Bratz doll, I got him at the outdoor part of the theme park. And he was only $3, and I was like debating if I wanted to get him and a Barbie doll because I saw that the prices were like um, one doll for three and two for five. This Barbie doll was a Teresa doll, and she didn't have any shoes. She did come with a dress though, but I was like debating if I want her or should I just get this Bratz doll. And the owner was like, um, oh, you like brass dolls? I was like, yeah, I do. And she said she had some brass dolls in the in her car and she um, went to grab it and she grabbed a wooden container of Monster High dolls. I was like, ooh, these Monster High dolls. But there were some dolls that kind of like um, Lagunas and I think Caddy Noir and um, there was also Serena Von Boo. But I didn't really want, I didn't really want them because I was like, mm, I'm kind of on a like a tight budget here because I only have like, I only have like $23 at this point. So I was like, mm, that's okay. I don't really like them that much. I'm really sorry. But then she was like, um, we have, I have some brass dolls at home. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Okay. And I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back there next week. <laughs> but, oh well, that's what happened. But I only got this brass dolls for three dollars and it is this Eaton doll and I know he's not really exciting to some people but I'm happy because hey more Bratz boys for my collection over there and it is Eaton and he is gorgeous look at that goatee and his hair and of course his outfit I'm not sure if this is I'm not sure if this is this is his this is his entire outfit not sure if it is. Pretty cool. I like his outfit. <laughs> um, I'm like brain fried or something. But yeah, that's him. And of course, she also had another um, brat saw there. It was like a funk out Fiona. I already had her and I didn't need her again, so I only wanted this boy. But yeah, this is him. Cute as ever. So that's all the dolls that I got. And let me show you all. <sighs> So yeah, these are my three new brat dolls. I know it's not a lot, but hey, um, of course they're not. There's not that many dolls, and I don't have that much money. But hey, if I ever go back to the flea market, or if I buy any brats or any dolls in, from stores in general, of course I'll make a video from that. But yeah. Anyways, I cannot wait to fix these up and show you guys their after look or something. Like that. So stay tuned for how they look afterwards. So I am back after two to three hours of washing the dolls, washing their hair, shampooing, conditioning, straightening, and washing their clothes. So now they're all ready to be shown. And none of them have had their clothes changed because they're all wearing their original clothes, all washed, thank goodness. So I'm gonna start with the Brad's board because Brad's boards are just kinda meh to the, in the Brad's world. So here he is looking handsome as ever. Here's his hair. I love the streaks. And his face, which has a bit of schmuck on it, but I'll wash it off with some water and soap or a stone. And then here's his clothes. I love his turquoise, turquoise shirt that has some stripes of green, yellow, and blue. And then his ripped denim jeans. And then it has some pockets on the side and also his black shoes. So yeah. Um, he's just kind of like whatever, but I can't wait to add him to my collection. And I'm thinking of actually making him an outfit to wear. But who knows? Check out my Instagram when I do make the outfit and take a picture of it. So yeah, that's Ethan. And now the next doll, live in concert, Sasha. Yes. And she had to have like two boar washes because this part right here, I thought I could straighten her hair to make it, you know, beautiful. But this hair is kind of like... You know, if you can really tell. It's kind of, like, wavy. But, whatever. She's beautiful, as always. And I love her face and her hair, which is white and orange. Her earrings, her outfit, everything. I love her to bits and pieces, and she is my first ever live concert doll. After so many years. So, yes! And now, the final doll. Genie Magic Jade. She was kind of um, a lot to work with because her hair was really knotted up and I had to comb through her and I shampooed it and conditioned it and strained it and a lot of hair was like coming out of her head. She had a lot of snagged bits in here and there 
But overall, she's still looking gorgeous as ever. And of course, her ends may look a little dry, but it's still manageable and I can still cope it through. However, when I was checking her out, I noticed when I looked at her fingers, someone decided to snip her, some of her fingers off. So on this hand, part of her middle finger and index finger has been snipped off. Whereas on her other hand, part of her thumb has been chopped and her pinky, her ring, and her middle finger have been snipped as well. So I guess some kids have a little too fun with scissors that they accidentally snipped her fingers off. But overall, she's still beautiful as, as always. So there's that. So that's basically it for this video. Not much was done to them, but overall, here they are. Cute as always. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment and subscribe. More videos will be up soon if I ever go buy a doll or something. So yeah. Anyways, goodbye everyone!